Hi, you're very welcome. And in today's longer video, what I'm going to do is address a question that kind of came up in class. You know me, Judge Judy, real cases, real people. So what I have here is a list of names, date of birth, um, randomly generated departments, date of last appointment, the rest of it. And also down here in the groups thing at the bottom, um, I have some, I've already set up these ones that I'm going to need. So I've set up two tables, one for the age and then a, a grouping assigned to each age and then also for the days waiting and a group assigned for each one. Okay. So I'm going to begin here by calculating the age. And for this one, I'm going to use the date diff function. Okay, so just go equals date diff. Now, this is what they call an undocumented um, feature in Excel, but it's very handy. So I just go to this one. So I take this is the date of birth I have here. And then I put in today, open bracket, close bracket. And the last bit then is I want this to appear in years. So I just put in Y at the end. And then I close my bracket and press enter. So it tells me an age of five. And that's dynamic because, you know, people do get older, as we all do. And uh, basically what it's going to do, let me just speak here now. So what I'm going to do is then just come over here to the corner and double click to copy it down. So that will always give me an up-to-date age. Okay. For the next bit now, I now need to assign this into a group. So I'm going to use my trustee V lookup for this one. And I'm going to go down here to my groups, here to this one. All right, I've got my age and I've got my grouping set here. So just click on the age group and come up to my formulas. And then I go to lookup and reference, go down to my V lookup. All right. And I'm going to go across here to the age because this is what I'm looking up. And then I go down to my table array, which is in the other sheet in groups. Highlight my two columns. And then I want to return the data from the second column, which has the grouping. So I just put in two and then I put in zero. And then I click OK. All right. And you see then it's automatically assigned people to a correct age group. I'm going to do the next one over here. I'm going to do the same thing, days waiting. And basically, I'm going to say today's date equals T-O-D-A-Y, open bracket, close bracket, minus this one here, and press enter. Okay. Now, it comes up with the date format, so that just means I need to come up back up here to home, to this one. And I just come over here to the date. And I just change that to the number of days. And then it's two decimal places, so I'm just going to knock that back down again to come over here. And again, just double click on the corner to copy it down. Now I need to assign this because I've used the today function, it means this will always be dynamic and up to date. And then I need to go same thing with the days waiting group. So I click in here. And what I do then is I do a V lookup again because back here in my groups, I've assigned the number of days waiting and then assigned it into a group. And I've actually gone down all the way to 1100 days. All right. And if they're waiting longer than 1100 days, you just would expand the table to accommodate that. So I come up here again to formulas. Again, I go to my lookup and reference, go down to my V lookup. All right, so I'm going to go here to the days waiting. And then I'm going to go into my table array, which is down here in the groups. And then I just come over here, highlight my two columns over here. And I want the data from the second column. And then I just go to zero. And then I click OK. All right, and you see then it's automatically, when I double click on it, it's automatically assigned it to that number of days. Now, this is kind of useful because it has actually come up here. It actually has said NA, okay? So that just means when I see NA, that just means um, what I need to do is I need to go back and update the number of dates. So I could do this a couple of ways. I could put in a, an if error function, but I'm actually just going to go back here to my groups, click here, control arrow down to the end, and I'm just going to highlight the two columns here, the two cells here, and I'm just going to drag it down. All right, I'm going to expand it right out. Maybe just go right out to, let's say, 1500. Okay, and hopefully that should cover most of them. And keep going to my 1500. 
There we go. I just say okay to that. And then you can see there, because it was down a bit further, I'm just going to expand that out to 1500 and say yes again to that. And then I just need to do control arrow up again. Now, if I go here and highlight this all the way down to the bottom, just to show you another little technique you could use. And I can just do Control and D, D for down, gives me that one. Now, when I come back into my people list, and I just have a quick look down here, and I'm just going to do a quick filter on this just to check. So I just come up here to Data, then Filter, and just make sure. Nope, that's all accommodated now. I'm going to knock off the filter. All right. So now my data is prepped and ready to go. So the next thing I need to look at, which I'm going to look at in the next video, is how I can actually extract some meaningful data from this.